All right, as we head over to Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell, I can just see behind you the radar indications. What well, wasn't but rainfall from last night and early this morning. It was so much, especially for July in East Texas. What a blessing. And yes, this is a really great opportunity to get this rain. Otherwise, we'd probably be talking about upper 90s and near 100 degrees for us, but nice to see a different break. We will be talking about the heat, though, to come in the next few days. Let me show you the Doppler radar estimates, and we'll show you the actual observed amounts, too, from our weather watchers and from the airports. Everybody's eyes points to back over into Henderson County, Anderson County. This is where we had some of the higher totals just north of Athens. Radar estimate around seven inches. You get south of the city about 10 inches of rainfall there estimated by the radar. Southwest Smith County between about six and almost seven inches of rain areas, especially our central vicinities areas south of Highway 80 and north of Highway 84, primarily anywhere between that one to three inch range. It certainly is some good rain that we have seen. This is actually a surplus for the month of July. This is typically our driest month, as you would expect, as we're dealing with more and more rainfall. So you notice the amounts a little bit lower north of Highway 80. You come down south of Interstate 20 and especially near Highway 31, Highway 79. That's where the amounts really added up. 6.26 in Cumberland Ridge, Emerald Bay, nearly seven inches. The Henderson County Airport, seven and two thirds. But Casey's family over in Athens, 10 plus inches of rain. It's a lot of water in a short, very short period of time. Tennessee Colony, four and two thirds. Priscilla, about an inch. Timpson, a little bit more than an inch. You notice the Angelina County Airport as well, picking up about an inch and a half of rain. We'll definitely take it. Glad to have it. And there is a lot of moisture still left over. It's muggy outside. Humidity values are high for us. That could lead to some patchy fog in the area, but it's also going to keep those mosquitoes present and as we heat up a bit more the next few days, we're going to see more and more mosquitoes. So this will stay in the high category in the days to come. Let's talk about rain chances. They are decreasing, but not completely zero just yet. We'll look at future casts overnight. We do have some development of a few showers and thunderstorms. I don't expect this to be as intense as what we saw earlier this morning, but a few of you could catch a brief heavier downpour or two. We still have the disturbance nearby. That's going to help generate some of this rain tomorrow afternoon. A few more scattered pop up thunderstorms, but the rain chances overall coming down as the temperatures will be heating up a bit more starting tomorrow afternoon because of more sun. So I will have that pop up storm chance and temperatures into the upper 80s and near 90. But watch what happens as we get to the end of the week, the precipitation will begin to move away and then our influence will become the heat high that we typically see in the summertime. Thankfully, it's not parked right over the state of Texas because otherwise we'd be heating up a lot more, but its influence will be felt even though it's over the four corners region. By Sunday, we could be looking at temperatures close to that century mark. It'll really all depend upon how much moisture we still have as we heat up the next few days. So after tomorrow's isolated storm change, Chance. Here we go drying out and we're going to warm up quick approaching the upper 90s by Sunday. A slight drop early next week. Deep East Texas, you got a few more showers for tomorrow, but your main story is the heat. You'll be in the low 90s starting tomorrow afternoon. All right, Marcus, thank you.